What's up guys, JoyCon94 today, and let me give you my Black Ops 6 settings. This is going to improve your game in basically every way. It's going to make the game play better. It's going to make it look better for PC players and for uh, console players. Stick tuned. There'll be some stuff for you guys too. Uh, controller. Unfortunately, I don't have any keyboard and mouse settings for my homie. Shout out Diablo. Um, I don't play keyboard and mouse, therefore I don't know what to look for. I don't know what DPI and all that stuff stands for. But without any further ado, let's get right into it. So we're going to go first off with controller you're gonna to want to change your button layout to tactical this is a preference thing you don't have to but i very strongly recommend it as you see on the screen it makes your thumbstick crouch dive slide all that stuff which with the omni movement on this game it's super important to be able to do that fast so being able to not have to take your thumb off the thumbstick to have to hit b to do all that just makes it so much easier so that's what i would suggest but you don't have to again that's a preference so is this next one with your recoil um i'm sorry not recoil sensitivity um Put this on whichever you want. I suggest five, um, but that's up to you. You can do whatever you want. Uh, turn off all this crap. You don't want any of this stuff on. Co controller vibration. Some people say to turn this off. I just turn mine down a bit. Uh, not all the way off because I still like to have that haptic feedback a little bit, but it's not overly sensitive and make me go crazy. Dead zone inputs. This is an important one. I've seen a lot of numbers out here. I've recently tried a couple different ones. This is what I've been running for quite some time. I've gave a lot of people these settings, and everyone likes them. So I'm going to say kick or keep your uh, dead zone inputs to these. So left stick min, 2, right stick max, 39. Well, you don't have to have me read them all to you. You can see it. Just copy these settings. It's pretty self-explanatory. And what this is going to do, along with some other settings that are in the uh, future, <clears throat> it's just going to make your aiming more responsive. When you move your stick, it's not going to go as crazy. It's going to kind of stay more true to where you're aiming. Uh, another thing I want to point out, though, I do have the Series 2 Elite controller, and I have a really badass headset that I'll talk about when I get to the audio section. So that also helps a ton. I'm also playing at 4K 60 frames per second. Uh, soon to be better than that. I'm going to get a better graphics card and all that, but that's another video. Um, so that also helps. Having a good monitor also helps. But, again, these settings will help everyone. So let's jump over to aiming. This doesn't matter. Aim in advanced settings. You want to change this to instant. That's really important. Um, as you can see, basically, it's just going to make it <clears throat> um, aim much better. Dynamic, you want to turn this on. This is going to make the S-curve different. It's going to uh, just basically make it more um, accurate to where your thumbstick is. And if you turn on dynamic mode for your sticks or a stick on your controller, which you can find a video how to do that, if you have the Series 2 Elite controller, it's going to make it even better. But moving on, we're going to go over to movement. This stuff's important. Sprint assist on. Turn off the manual assist and crouch assist. Corner slicing on. Slide day behavior. Change this to hybrid. This is one of the important ones. This is just going to make it so you can do everything. It's just going to make that omni movement play better. Um, auto doors peak off. Sprint restore on. Slide to maintain sprint. Uh, this stuff doesn't matter in here. You want to leave this on toggle. Turn off auto move forward if that's on. I know I said... Excuse me. I said to do that last time. Don't like it anymore. I turned it off. Single tap to run, and the rest doesn't matter. Keep that on, though. Uh, combat. None of this stuff really matters. All right, so moving on to graphics. This is more for PC. Um, I don't really have much for you guys on uh, console for this section, so if you want to skip ahead, go ahead. But just match your settings to this or to your graphics card. This is where it's important. Um, I have my render resolution at 1080p, and you're going to want to turn all of this stuff down here basically off or low. So just match these settings, um, and it's just going to make the game look better. It's going to have less render, which means you're going to get more frames, and it's just going to make the game play and look a lot better and help you see people, which there's more settings. Again, I do have a setting in the interface for everyone that I tried recently, and it seems to help. I like it, um, <clears throat> but yeah, we're going to keep going. Again, just uh, match all my settings. Some of these you do want on high, like these ones. Um, and to be honest with you, I don't really know why. I just know it makes the game look better. And after I did this, I saw an improvement in how the game played. Um, field of view, this is an important one. You definitely don't want it on the default. Um, you can play with this. Some people max it out. I like 110 to 115. You can still at 105. Uh, I did hear one person say something about aim assist. At 105 and above, anything above 105 doesn't work as well. I don't know how true that is. I don't think they have problems, but who knows. Um, <clears throat> effective field of view wide. 
uh, vehicle. That doesn't matter. I don't play any of the Warzone stuff. So, unfortunately, if you play Warzone and you're looking for settings, I don't got you at all because I don't play that stupid shit. I only like multiplayer and I only like hardcore. Uh, benchmark doesn't matter. Audio. Uh, there was a setting in here for, like, advanced headphones, and I don't know where it was or where it went because I can't find it anymore, and I've tried resetting these, so I don't know if they took it out. But this is important. Keep your game volume at 100, but just turn down that music. You don't need to hear the music. If you want to hear the music, go ahead. But if you're trying to sound horn and hear people's footsteps and stuff, um, you know, turn the stuff down. You can turn the dialogue volume off or down. I keep it low just so I can hear when they say, you know, there's a UAV or the bomb's been planted or whatever. Uh, change this to your speaker output. The headset I have is the Logitech GQ Pros or something like that. I'll put it on the screen. I'll link them in the description. I'll also link the controller in the description. Uh, if you guys are interested in checking those out. But I will spend just a minute talking about this headset. But when I tell you this is the most insane headset I've ever used. And the fact that you can sometimes pretty much hear exactly where somebody is. Just because they planted a, a claymore or some shit. Or they're stepping above you. And yeah, sure, you can hear footsteps behind you and stuff. But I'm telling you with this thing, you can hear the behind you and five feet to the left. Like, you can really, really hear where people are sometimes. Now, of course, if they're running perks like Ninja, you're not going to hear them moving. But if they, you know, reload or things like that, it just, it's insane. I 100% recommend this headset. It's super comfortable, super long battery life. Um, and if you guys want a review on it or a more in-detailed video of the headset, let me know. Drop a comment and a link. I'm sorry, not a link. Drop a comment below and I'll uh, maybe I'll do one. But keep going. Uh, I have this on headphones base boost. You can try it on regular headphones. I've been playing with the two, but you definitely want it on headphones if you're running any type of headphones. Just sounds better. Uh, the rest of this stuff doesn't really matter. Voice chat. I turn my voice chat volume down. I don't need to hear a lot of people being loud. Uh, you know, these things don't matter. Uh, one thing I will mention, I had a homie, shout out Toto. His microphone sounded terrible, and literally the only problem was he had his microphone volume at 100, and I've had like five or six other buddies do that, and had people in actual games do it. And if your mic's really loud and it's echoing on this game in particular, just try turning down that microphone volume, and that fixes it for everyone. Um, and yeah, helps a lot. Interface. This is basically the last section. Uh, none of this stuff really matters. You're going to go over to readability, go down. This is a council setting as well. Go to this, change this to filter two, and then change this to both. And it's just going to make the game look a little bit better, a little bit more vibrant, especially if you turn down your graphics. It's going to make it pop a little bit more. And it's just going to make people see or pop out a little bit easier. And then the last section, gameplay HUD. None of this shit matters, but what I do want you to do is go into your crosshairs, especially if you're a hardcore player, and turn on the center dot. And to be honest with you, I don't remember at this point if it does show the full crosshairs on hardcore anymore. But I know it will at least show you that center dot. Uh, I like mine on larger. Uh, opacity, you can turn it down. And this is one people suggest. Um, you can run it at a different color if you'd like. You know, you can have it as a, as a green. And then your crosshairs will look like that. And some people say it makes it a little bit easier. I personally didn't like it. I set mine back to white default, whatever it was. I didn't like it. It kind of messed with me. Um, but again, that's a total preference if you want to play with it. That is a new setting that you can customize your crosshair colors. Um, and yeah, guys, that's basically it for all the settings. I hope you guys enjoyed them. And if you guys want a badass class that will basically make people think you have walls, let me know. I'll show you that. But it's not hard to figure out. But basically, the setup, when you spawn in, if you die, it'll show people through the walls for a second. So... If you spawn in and they're two feet in front of you, you can shoot them through the wall. And it's really funny to do because people are like, what the hell? And it's like, nah, bro, I'm, I'm just, I'm using a perk, dog. It's, it's part of the game. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video again. Please give it a big thumbs up. Uh, hopefully I didn't ramble on too much and the gameplay you're watching is good. And um, that's basically it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thumbs up, comment below. And if you have any questions or any suggestions or anything like that, comment down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Joy Kong 94 out.